I'm Brian, Technical Service Manager here at IPC. And today we're going to go over squeegees, what they're made of, what the uses are, and some of the tips and tricks on what to do with them. So here at IPC we have three different types of squeegees. We have our standard, what we would call gum rubber, a linotex, and a polyurethane. Uh, today we'll go over those in order. First of all, we have our standard gum rubber. You know it as the red squeegee that comes on the majority of our product. Um, this is going to be the most economical choice. Next up, we have Linotex. Biggest benefits of Linotex is that it is 95% natural rubber, and so it is going to have much better wet abrasion resistance. It's also going to be something that stands up to chemicals and oils a little bit better. Um, it's not impervious. And lastly, we have our polyurethane blade. This one is going to be best for dry abrasion. It's also going to be the most oil resistant, but it is a little bit harder to adjust when you have it on your machine. So looking at our squeegee blades, our squeegee blades have four edges. We can use both edges on this side and this side, so we can flip our squeegee blades. You'll also notice that this is a solid blade. There are no cuts in it, where this one has grooves on the edge. This is going to be our front blade, and this will be our back blade. The reason our front blade has these is so that we can get water into our squeegee assembly. It can pass through the front and actually be collected and put into your recovery tank. The rear is a solid single strip, and that is so that it can actually effectively wipe the floor and collect all of the liquid to be recovered off the floor. So looking at our squeegee assembly, you can see the cuts to let the water in. Our hose is going to be pulling all the water up here, and with it properly adjusted, we want the front edge of our rear squeegee to be at a 45 degree angle to the floor. This will give you optimal wiping performance and longest wear. A lot of our squeegee assemblies are also fitted with a closure strip on each end, and we need that to pinch the two squeegees together to give us suction. Without that, we would have extra air, which would result in a loss of suction, poor performance, and water on the floor. Now that we've gone over types of squeegees and the basics of how they're working, uh, we have a few examples of problems that you'll run into, squeegee blades that need to be replaced. The first one here is wore out. So our leading edge is no longer square and that's not going to give us a good wipe against the floor. So we would need to change it due to the wear of the front and back blades on the leading edge. If your squeegee has been exposed to any sort of petroleum product, you'll get this wavy look, and that also means that the squeegee is not going to perform properly and would need to be replaced. Outside of that, if you have a lot of debris and buildup inside of your squeegee body, that also will cause problems. And in future videos, we will go over the correct way to change our squeegee blades and maintain based on the machine that we're installing it on. Thank you for joining me on this quick journey through squeegees. The options that we have, some of the things you'll run into. At IPC, we're committed to supporting our equipment and helping you have success no matter what you run into. In future videos, we'll go over more on the squeegee assembly and other options and features of machines as they become available.